Hello and welcome. I am Sister Mary Rose and I'm from Our Lady of Ransom Parish in Eastbourne. And this is a children's liturgy for the baptism of the Lord. And today we hear about Jesus' baptism in the River Jordan. And baptism is the way that we are welcomed into the church. And let's think a bit more about that today. And we'll start with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let's say the opening prayer together. God of light, you sent your spirit down upon your son Jesus at his baptism. Send us your spirit so that we may be filled with the courage to do all that you ask of us. Amen. And before we hear the gospel, we make a little sign of the cross on our forehead. God be in my thoughts, on our mouth. God be in my word and here. God be in my heart. And the reading comes from Mark chapter 1 verses 7 to 11 John the Baptist announced to the people the man who will come after me is much greater than I am I am not good enough even to bend down and untie his sandals I baptize you with water but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit not long afterward Jesus came from Nazareth in the t province of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As soon as Jesus came up out of the water, he saw heaven opening and the Spirit coming down on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my dear Son. I am pleased with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, what do you remember from today's reading? Today we hear how John baptized Jesus in the River Jordan. And what happened as Jesus was baptized? The Holy Spirit came down and rested upon him. And God spoke, saying to Jesus, You are my son. You are my own dear son. I am pleased with you. Most of us are baptized when we are babies. But have you been to a baptism? Do you remember what happens at a baptism? At the beginning of the baptism, the Easter candle is lit and the priest welcomes everyone who has come to the celebration. He questions the parents, what name have you given your child? And when they have answered, he asks, and what do you ask of God's church for the child? And they reply, baptism. The priest asks the parents if they will bring up their child to live in God's way. And he asks the godparents if they will help the child's parents to do this. The priest then makes the sign of the cross on the baby's forehead. And parents and godparents are invited to do the same. This is a sign that the baby is welcomed into the Christian family and everyone then listens to God speaking through a reading from the gospel and everyone responds by praying for the baby and the family and everyone present these sim prayers are a symbol of care the priest calls on the saints to pray for us and the prayers ask that this child will be strengthened by God's love and watched over by God at every stage of their journey in life. The priest then makes the sign of the cross on the baby's chest with the oil of catechumens. The oil is a symbol of strength and is one of the oils blessed by the bishop in Holy Week. The priest then blesses the water and the used to baptize the baby and water is a symbol of new life and the parents and the godparents are invited to renew their own baptismal promises as a sign that they will bring up the child in the faith of the church and reject all that separates the Christian from God then everyone gathers around the font and the priest pours water over the baby's head saying I baptize you in the name of the father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The priest then anoints the baby on the crown of the head with the oil of chrism, and it is a sign that, that the baby will be like Jesus, a priest, to worship God and be holy in God's service. 
a prophet to listen to God and to help others to hear God's word, and a king ready to serve and care for all people. A white garment is put around the baby, and this is a symbol of becoming a Christian and putting on a new way of life. And the priest then invites someone from the family to light a candle from the Easter candle, saying, Receive the light of Christ. And both candles are symbols of the light of Christ. Jesus is the light. His light is for everyone. The priest invites everyone present to welcome the new member of the church. And as a sign of the baby's right to take part in the Eucharist, everyone prays in the words Jesus gave us, the Our Father. The priest blesses the mother and the father of the baby and finally blesses the whole community assembled in the church. And through baptism, our sins are forgiven. It is also the way that we are welcomed as a member of the church community, a big family that stretches all around the world. We are committed to God and trying to live our lives the way God asks us to. And God calls us all to be kind and generous and to share with others and forgive others and try always to do what is right. God asks us to love our neighbor as ourselves. It's not easy, I know, but in the same way that the Holy Spirit came to Jesus when he was baptized, we are baptized with water and the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit is there always to help us when we find things difficult and to guide us to make the right choices. We are all children of God, and we can all try to live our lives the way God wants us to do in the coming week. And let's take a quiet moment now and in the quietness of our heart, pray to Jesus to guide us in all the decisions that we are going to make this week. And let's pray together to God who loves all of us. We pray for the church throughout the world that it may continue to spread Jesus' message of love for all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all God's children, especially those who are poor, that we may find hope of a world free from poverty. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish, family and friends that we may do all that we can to live the way that God wants us to, sharing with others and standing up for what is right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we'll say the closing prayer together. Loving God, you call us by our name and we are your children. Help us to share your message of love and hope with others and to make the world a fairer place for all to live. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Activity suggestions. Um, the children in my class have made this mobile um, based on the Trinity um, and we have used doves because they represent the Holy Spirit that came upon Jesus. And the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And this is represented clearly at Jesus' baptism. And each time we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are remembering um, the Trinity. And so this mobile will equally help you remember um, the Trinity and that the Holy Spirit is there to guide you always and strengthen you in your life. Um, I wish you um, a very good week and um, thank you very much for all your encouragement and may God bless you all and thank you so much and goodbye.